Hey YouTube, this is AllAboutAndroids.com. Last week I showed you guys Eagle's Blood Build 1 on the um, LG G2X and today I have Eagle's Blood ICS Build 2. Currently it's not open to the public, I'm the beta tester and this is basically the video review. First thing, I did do an OTA update, so I flashed the Build 2 on top of Build 1 and I did not notice any issues in terms of services not working, so data is working, sound is working. Wi-Fi is working, GPS is working, so the OTA did work, so build two over there. Um, but however, it is still recommended to flash a full, like doing it a full wipe before you flash a ROM is always recommended to do that. Um, a couple of instant changes, you'll notice it is slightly more fluid in the app drawer, but the glitch is still around when you switch the widget, so you do get a couple of second lags, like right here, and then it comes back. To uh, fluid motion. Facebook has uh, been in complete sync right now, so I'm able to sync my contacts and all the phone numbers, etc. So let's just go right here. And as you can see, Facebook is there before it wasn't available. Now it is here. Um, also, people were uh, worried about YouTube having some issues, and that has been fixed. So, full audio and video um, syncing. The quality, uh, the high quality setting does give you a really good quality, not really high. So it's not as HD as I've seen on Gingerbread, but it's really close. So instead of getting sued by some random company, I'm just going to display a video that we made and just turn off the sound so that you guys can hear me. But first let's just show that the sound works. And once it loads. Okay. All right. So here we go. This is one of our videos in the supposed HD quality, and you can see that it's clear. Um, video is working, no lag at all. So let's just close this now and go back. So YouTube does work. I'm not aware of Netflix. I haven't tried Netflix at the moment. I'm not too sure um, if the sound issue has been fixed on Netflix. Now. Um, the camera still has issues, so the camera does freeze your phone, you'll basically have to pull out the battery pack put it back in, but uh, that's mainly for the camcorder. The camera does work though. Uh, I've tried it with many apps, so Camera 360 and some other ones that I have around here, so LG camera, same thing for the camcorder, it keeps on crashing, so just watch out for that. If you take a look at the top over here, you see a letter E that stands for Edge. My Win Mobile, my provider provides Edge, and basically right now the phone is able to recognize Edge, HSPA, whatever network you have. So that's a kind of nice addition to it. Um, also, uh, a nice thing is, or basically just a small tweak, it's that the launcher has changed to the Eagle's Blood launcher. So basically it's a trebuchet with Eagle's Blood re um, modding of some features. Under performance, uh, there is an I.O. scheduler, so you can change that as well, which I have set to BFQ, which in my opinion, it seems the best for me. Um, what are available actually? Let's take a look. The default is deadline, and you can play around with the others. I'll, of course, do your research before you switch them, and you can do that as well. Um, lastly, this quick lag that you saw here does happen, it's not too often, but it does happen once in a while, so um, it doesn't really cause much issues, just gotta wait about 5-6 seconds and then it loads again. Um, before I actually end the video, we do have an Eagle's Blood Gallery right now, so you get some nice wallpapers made by Boxer, really good quality wallpapers, um, they look really nice once you set them up on your home screen. This was all about Androids.com, I hope you liked this review. Please comment and subscribe, we'll get some more content for you guys. We also have a Facebook page, a Google Plus account, and a Twitter. Please add us over there, we'd really appreciate it. And a quick announcement before we go, I would like to thank all of our subscribers. We've reached 108 subscribers, I really thank you uh, for doing that. We also have topped over 50,000 views, which is really sweet, and me and my friend would really appreciate um, your um, continuous support. We will keep on getting more devices and more ROMs for you guys. We'll be testing them, showing off um, the latest releases from developers, and basically trying to make this channel more of a ROM testing orientation. And yeah, that's basically it. Thank you.